What's up Sneaky Nation, Sneaky P here back with all of the news after week 15 of our Oakland Raiders franchise and the Raiders finally ended their losing streak by defeating the Kansas City Chiefs. It was a really good game, came down to the last minute. Honestly, it was probably one of the most exciting games I feel like I've ever played in Madden considering the Chiefs recovered the onside kick after marching all the way down the field in just a few plays to score a touchdown. Uh, the two-point conversion, there was just a lot of huge plays throughout that game and it was really fun I, I thought uh, but the Raiders ended up getting the victory the defense kind of struggled towards the end you know they tried giving the game away but having Derek Carr back in our offense has made a huge difference uh, I definitely feel like we might have won one of those one or two of those games and he missed after seeing the way he's performed he's uh been playing really good he has not thrown an interception since returning from his injury. I wish there was some wood to knock on or something because I probably just jinxed it. But he has been playing very well, and that is a huge reason why we ended up picking up that victory. Uh, we did have Maurice jones True injured in that game. We're going to have to check that out, see if it's anything serious. Um, but before we move on, let's go ahead and get to the game prep here. And again, I need to work on this defense, guys. The offense, it's a work in progress. I feel like if I can get some better wide receivers in the offseason, the offense would actually be okay. The run defense is doing pretty good. Not the run defense. The run uh, running game has been doing pretty good for us. So if we can just uh, spread the ball out a little bit, not have as many drops from our wide receivers, I definitely feel like our offense it would at least be suitable going into next season. Our defense, on the other hand, needs some work again. I know we've been doing this for a minute now, but I'm just going to continue to develop these cornerbacks, guys. I really need to get this passing game going, and uh, this is the best bet, or pass defense going. This is the best bet for me. Just trying to develop these younger guys, get them some experience, and see what I can do with them. Um, again, you know, I might have to draft somebody or sign a free agent corner something uh, to improve this defense a little bit. Uh, rushing defense hasn't been all that bad. It's a little bit inconsistent. Sometimes teams will run it all over me, and then other times, you know, they do fine. Um, but the passing defense has been a problem all season, and it, it's time that we change this around. So, guys, this is actually going to be our last game ever in Oakland. Um, huge game. You know, that's it's... It's the Raiders, man. I love the Raiders. I didn't want to change away from the Raiders. I just I wanted to do I wanted to play as the Raiders, but I wanted a fresh face too. So last game in Oakland. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Um, draft stories does not look like there's a new one. That's okay. Uh, scouting, you know, we'll kind of save all that. Continue to save some of these points up. Um, I need to start scouting players in later rounds. I've scouted a lot of first round talent. I've scouted some in later rounds outside of uh the first round but I, I really need to start focusing on my later picks because I feel like I've gathered enough information to make a pretty good selection in the first round maybe the second round um, but you know we're still gonna have a lot more draft picks outside of that that I'm gonna need to make good selections for this is a young team we're rebuilding and for any rebuilding team draft picks are huge you cannot miss on draft picks it will sink your franchise which quite honestly has done with the Raiders franchise. That's one reason we took over them because, you know, we need to turn this team around. And the last decade or so, they've really missed on a lot of draft picks. And we're, we're hoping to change the fortunes here. Sc fortunes here, guys. Ah, man. Injury report. Oh, no. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Go back. Go back. Yeah, I didn't change anything. All right. Injury report. Oh, man. It took me way back here. All right. All right. That's okay. That's okay. We're just right here. Injury report. There we go. Let's see what we got here. And Maurice Jones-Drew is fine. We have him. However, C.O. Moore is out for the rest of this season. And that sucks because C.O. Moore has arguably been the biggest playmaker we've had on defense. He has gotten sacks. He has forced a ton of fumbles. He's forced more fumbles than anybody else on my team. Um, so losing him sucks big time. I really hate that. Um, but, you know, it's part of the game. It's what we have to live with. Um, but I, I do like C.O. Moore. He's becoming one of my favorite players on this Raiders defense. Let's check out the awards. See what we got. And uh, weekly awards here. Mike Glennon, two touchdowns, 285 yards. Uh, Tolick, oh man. I really hope he didn't celebrate that interception. 
because uh, we all know what happened in real life. But Tolik, player of the game or player of the week for the NFC defense, uh, Carlos Dansby, uh, an interception to go with 11 tackles, and Darren McFadden, 24 carries, 100 yards with a touchdown, five receptions, 28 yards and a touchdown. And this is pretty cool because last week. His running back teammate Maurice Jones-Drew got player of the week. So two weeks in a row we've had an offensive player of the week. That is very cool um, considering how much we've been struggling lately. It's a nice little win for our team, you know. Uh, so that's that's awesome. We'll get into all the yearly awards and league stat awards later, guys. I really kind of – well, we'll look at our, league, our team's stats. We'll look at the uh, league stats at the end of the season. Um, but let's go ahead and check out our team, see what we've been doing. Derek Carr – uh, 78.9 quarterback rating, nearly 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. So, I mean, if you guys look at, like, just between the ratings and the uh, touchdown to interception ratio, how much of a difference he has made compared to the other players. Uh, Connor Shaw, he started out really, really good and just sank miserably after that. Matt Schaub has come in. He's filled the gap decently at times, um, but... Ultimately, he hasn't been as effective as I would like. Derek Carr, uh, you know, he's like I said, he hasn't thrown an interception the last few games. He's really picked up his game lately. Uh, 11 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. You know, he's a rookie. He has that long of 98 um, to Denarius Moore. Rushing the ball. Uh, and Maurice Jones-Drew gets over the 1,000-yard mark. I love seeing that. I really wish I'd gotten Darren McFadden more carries throughout the season. I've been trying to find a way the auto sub it more um and it does somewhat just not nearly frequently i would have loved to see their carry split like 60 40 maybe even 50 50 if i'm being honest because i like mcfadden a lot and if you look at the yards per carry mcfadden's actually been doing better um but you know that's in a smaller sample size touchdowns five touchdowns for me maurice jones drew two for mcfadden one for Derek carr i haven't had as many rushing touchdowns as i would like um for a while there, I was really just trying to get Derek Carr some experience by throwing touchdown passes, even with Connor Shaw for a while. And, you know, it was a poor decision on my part. It lost us a few games, but it is what it is. I've learned from my lessons, as we have seen. Uh, Denarius Moore, 65 receptions, 743 yards. I would have loved to get him over that 1,000-yard mark, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, Marcel Reese is actually second in receptions on our team. You know, outside of Denarius Moore, we have had so many inconsistencies at wide receiver between, uh, you know, James Jones dropping every pass thrown his way, Bruce Ellington getting hurt because he was actually playing pretty solid there. Armani Edwards started off great, kind of dropped off after that. Chris Owusu's played good in the time he's been given. Um, for whatever reason, at one point, he just moved down the depth chart without me making any changes. I still don't know what happened there, but... We've put him back in the lineup, and he's done all right. Um, Streeter's come in at different times and played okay. Osbury got hurt. So we've had so many inconsistencies at wide receiver. Um, but our running backs out of the backfield have actually done very good. I love using those players in those situations. But Marcel Reese, you know, I definitely think I'm going to move him to tight end next season unless I find a really good tight end in the draft or free agency because – we put him there last game, and he had one huge reception that really helped us. He's been good there anyway. He's got the speed I like. Um, so definitely a threat for us there. Uh, blocking, that's eh, not a huge thing I really want to keep an eye on too closely. But I do want to look at Gabe Jackson. Our rookie from Mississippi State is doing pretty well. Has not allowed a sack all season, um, and he has nine pancakes. So very good for him. Uh, Donald Brown has been pretty solid. He has allowed seven sacks, but a lot of that's probably me scrambling outside of the pocket as well. Kevin Burnett leading our team in tackles. I do want to get another middle linebacker. I don't know how I'm going to go about doing this. I want to like switch over to a 3-4 defense permanently next season. I've kind of been back and forth with it this season, but uh, I definitely would like to improve on that and make that a permanent switch. You know, I like my outside linebacker, C.O. Moore and Khalil Mack, who's really stepped it up the last few weeks, uh, getting two sacks. He had none through the majority of the season. In the last two weeks, he's gotten his two sacks. I still would like to see more out of him, but he's done all right. C.O. Moore, like I said, he's been great. Seven sacks, but if you look at this, uh, fumbles forced. Six fumbles forced. He has been incredible. So I like my outside linebackers. Um, I definitely would like to get another middle linebacker move to a 3-4 defense. I would also need to find a, well, I guess my tackles are actually all right, defensive tackles. You know, we're pretty solid with uh, Pat Sims as well as uh, Antonio Smith. So 
they've been all right. So I might be able to make that switch. You know, I can move forward with Shelby Harris and Justin Tuck in the 3-4. I'd, I'd feel pretty comfortable with that. Lamar Woodley, maybe I can move him to a linebacker spot. I know somebody suggested that. Something to keep an eye on. But our defense has done a great job at putting pressure on the quarterback. For all the, the faults we have in our secondary, we have done pretty good at that. Uh, interceptions, DJ Hayden and Carlos Rogers each with four. Charles Woodson with three. Keith McGill with two. He had that pick six a few weeks ago that I loved. Uh, and C.O. Moore with one. Again, we've already looked at um, fumbles forced here. And nobody's even close to C.O. Moore. I want to see how he's doing in the NFL in that regard, actually. Charles Woodson with two. So let's go do that. That's the one stat I will look at for the NFL this week. The rest I'm going to save for the end of the season. Um, but fumbles forced. And see, again, we have that little glitch where it's not going to show my team's players. But it is pretty cool to see that uh, C.O. Moore would have been leading the NFL in fumbles forced. I really like him a lot. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I don't... Should, was there something with the sliders I wanted to fix? I don't think there was. If it is, I'll fix it after next week. Um, as we look at our stat or our standings here, yeah, that's it. I want to look at the standings really fast because I noticed something. Um, our defense is terrible. We really need to improve it. Where are we at? I noticed something pretty cool, actually. And look, our offense isn't all that great, but look at our defense. We've allowed a lot more points than any other team. That's what I need to focus on. I was really thinking of drafting that wide receiver, but maybe I should focus on defense. But look at this. Home wins, home losses. If we win this next game, we actually end with a 500 record on our home field, which, you know, our record overall is still going to be pretty terrible. But if we can end 500 at home, that that's that's a positive thing. You know what I mean? That's something we can take away from the season that we're not a horrible, horrible road team or home team. I'm sorry. Uh, road, we've been struggling one and six, but home three and four. And we got a game against the Bills coming up. Definitely a winnable game. I mean, we've lost winnable games before, but, you know, who would have thought we'd beat the Chiefs last week? So, I'm excited, guys. I hope you are. If you enjoy this video, please help me out. Leave a like. It helps me out tremendously. And I will see you guys next week as we take on the Bills. Later.